so it represent the change in the total cost resulting from the producing for an additional unit the relevant of short term decision making which is always suitable for the short term decisions making because each and every time the production uh, cycles will be keep on change so which is always depending on the short term decisions making fixed cost or any cost it won't change which is always constant but variable cost keep on change Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. I am Natesh, lecturer in commerce, Vidya Sram First Grade College, Mysore, the Temple of Excellence. We are in the Unit Four, Session One, Fourth Semester, BCom, uh, Costing Methods and Technique. The chapter name is uh, Marginal Costing. And moving forward for my today agenda, so which is uh, you will get more clarity about the marginal costing. We call it as a variable cost. Okay, one more name is variable cost. And uh, what is the marginal costing? Okay, margin cost and marginal costing difference. So uh, you will get uh, more clarity. And uh, what are the features of marginal costing? Why, you, as a management, uh, they are at the time of taking additions uh, using a marginal costing tool. Okay, and the break-even analysis. Okay, break-even means what? there is no profit there is no loss you will get more assumption okay and the break even analysis where exactly usage okay the application part and the terms used in the marginal costing and the break even chart you will get more clarity for coming slide uh, the first one you will get uh, what is the marginal cost uh, you, uh, there is something different uh, name is called for the variable cost also because uh, the fixed cost uh, we, which cannot be changed okay but marginal cost which is keep on vary because of material increase or decrease okay even the labor hours uh, even the other expense which is uh, increasing okay increase or decrease here the meaning and definition marginal costing refers to additional cost okay so additional cost uh, incurred by producing one or more unit margin means what extra you want to think here so product and providing one more unit of a service so the same of the space whatever it is available if i try to increase one product obviously we can get the maximum benefit so it represent the change in the total cost resulting from the producing for an additional unit the same space the same resource the same machine we are try to produce extra unit in other words it measure the cost impact to produce and providing a single additional unit okay so uh, using the source input resource we are try to increase one extra sales uh, productions okay under marginal costing uh, marginal costing so whatever in the previous uh, slide which is completely margin cost okay now marginal costing so uh, meaning and definition marginal costing is a costing technique uh, that focus on the behavior of cost there are major two cost uh, we are identify fixed cost and variable cost okay so fixed cost or uh, any cost it won't change which is always constant but variable cost keep on change and their classification into fixed and variable component it involve the segregation of cost into fixed cost and variable cost okay the analysis of their impact of the profitability of an organization as a management they want to take a proper decision about the fixed cost as well as variable cost to increase additional productivity okay so marginal costing emphasize the determinations of the marginal cost and their comparisons with the marginal revenue if i try to produce one extra product at the same time i am getting a revenue generation so using the same so the fixed cost for example the building rent which cannot be changed which is always fixed but the same space i try to increase for increasing the productivity the building rent is always same okay so which is building rent which is coming under the fixed cost okay if i try to increase one more product what is the additional raw material is required even the labor is required and an additional expense are connected okay to make a decision about the production pricing and resource allocation if i try to produce mass production i try to decrease the price of the product okay so that is actually the management want to uh, take an advantages even 
Uh, what are the features of the marginal costing? So uh, obviously marginal cost, uh, the production which is major uh, cost we identified one is related to fixed as well as variable cost. Uh, variable cost can be uh, your material, labor okay, or other expense uh, which is variable expense which, which is keep on varied. But fixed cost which is always fixed uh, which is constant forever. Okay, either you are try to produce for 10 product or 20 product, the fixed cost cannot be changed, which is a constant forever. So contribution margin. So we are trying to find out what is an additional. Okay, so obviously there is very simple formula to find out the contribution sales minus variable cost, which is giving you a contributions value. So that additional what how much you are producing. Of course, which is a decisions making tool as a management uh, when they are trying to uh, using the marginal costing analysis, of course, they are trying to take a better decision. Okay, so the profit value relationship between the cost uh, profitable uh, number of you need to produce. Okay, everything we need to measure based on the profit value only. So how many quantity you produce? What is the sales value which is coming under the relationship between the total cost and profit uh, revenue generation? Okay, and the relevant of short term decision making, which is always suitable for the short term decisions making, because each and every time the production uh, cycles will be keep on change. So, which is always depending on the short term decisions making. And a simple and easy to understand, there is very simple format we are adapting for preparing a marginal costing. So, easily you can understand. Okay, so moving forward. So break-even analysis assumption. So you want to get more clarity about the break-even analysis. Break-even means what? Break-even point means uh, there is no profit, there is no loss. We call it as a break-even point. So in this case, the profit value relationship between the number of cost which is incurred, fixed cost, variable cost. Uh, okay, so the difference what we are finding the contribution, okay, which is always calculated a uh, profit value. And next, uh, relevant to short-term decision making. So assumption we are taking for additions right so which is related to the productivity if I try to increase the production so what is the cost I want to bear uh, because the fixed cost cannot be changed which is constant so next uh, again simple and easy to understand assumption and the linear relationship between the cost as well as profit okay so unit as well as uh, uh, revenue generation so linear relationship cost fixed cost as well as variable cost and the constant sales mix so the constant sales mix means actually there are different uh, types of cost want to bear for the expecting the sales uh, there are different costs are incurred right so that's what so fixed cost remain constant in this case very uh, either you are the same space you are using to produce 100 or 200 the rent cannot be changed which is always fixed Okay, again, single output level because each and every time when you are trying to adapt the marginal costing technique, so which is a single output level we can find out. Okay, so next one, constant selling price. Um, why we are uh, preparing a ma marginal statement, marginal cost statement to find out the selling price, how much I want to fix the price. Okay, so uh, for that reason. And break-even analysis uses, there are different management are using a marginal costing. So because the break-even, there is no profit. If I'm getting a loss means why should I go for producing the product? So that's what I need to find out. Either I'm getting profit or loss. So using a break-even analysis, where exactly? So determining the profitability, everyone, all the businessmen, if the management are, they want to determine how much I want to get to profit. So determination part. And the pricing decision, at the time of uh, setting a price or uh, I want to fix any price, uh, blindly I cannot fix, I want to get, uh, take an advantage from using a marginal costing. So I will get what is the cost of the product, uh, okay, and uh, how much I can sell, uh, what is the variable cost, uh, how much uh, uh, I can change, uh, so everything I decide. So even the cost control, majorly we are talking related to fixed cost and variable cost, how I can try to control the cost for variable cost. Uh, and uh, Product mix, uh, because the product is finally, there are number of mix, uh, which is the design part, uh, how much I'm spending, okay, labeling, packaging, so everything which is related to the product mix. Of course, the uh, sales forecasting, if I'm using a break-even analysis, uh, so easily I can forecast the sales. Uh, if I try to produce, uh, what is my demand, uh, how much I can supply, what is my target customers, so everything I can predict here. 
moving to the term used in the marginal costing so profit volume ratio okay so pv ratio is very important so the profit volume ratio also known as a contribution marginal ratio so we call it as a contribution marginal ratio so you need to get how you are getting a contribution sales minus variable cost if you try to subtract you will get the contribution okay which is called also contribution margin ratio is the ratio of contribution margin that is the difference between the sales revenue minus variable cost okay the sales minus variable cost no doubt which is a contribution okay to sales revenue it represent the portions of each sales rupee that contribute to covering the fixed cost and generating profit so after getting contributions only we are try to subtract the fixed cost so after subtracting fixed cost from the contribution so we are getting a profitability so we are talking related to profit value relation so which is related to sales uh, variable cost uh, then we are getting the contribution from the contribution if you try to subtract fixed cost we are getting a profit so which is mainly focusing on the this three item and the formula to find out uh, profit volume ratio so the contribution divided by sales into 100 so after calculating contribution how you get to know because of using a format okay the statement we are using so with the help of uh, uh, contribution divided by sales into 100 so the profit volume ratio once you identify the profit volume ratio so we can apply for the next uh, techniques okay and next one break even point so the break even point means exactly we classify we can identify there are unit base and sales base here uh, the break even uh, even point is a uh, level where uh, exactly which is a intersected point so if you are seeing the graph you will get more clarity where exactly break even point the level of sales at which uh, total revenue equal to total cost there is no profit no loss because you are matching the revenue as well as cost resulting in the neither profit or no loss it is a point where the company cover all the fixed costs and begin to generate profit so the, at the time of break even point once you identify there is no profit there is no loss okay obviously i can go for taking a next action plan so here the formula to find out the break even point units okay the first one fixed cost which is given in the question okay otherwise uh, the fixed cost whatever the cost per unit is given divided by contribution per unit okay easily you can find out the number of break even points of units okay how many units you produce and if you try to go for break even in sales or rupees or value okay so the same formula fixed cost divided by pv ratio or you can take one more formula fixed cost divided by contribution per unit into into selling price so this is also will get same answer okay and moving to the next one margin of safety you want to always safeguard yourself for setting a second margin the margin of safety is the difference between the actual or projected sales actual sales which is given in the question okay so using the break even sales break even sales we need to subtract see how it is interconnected for the next formula so obviously marginal safety is a difference between the actual sales okay so actual sales margin of safety is equal to actual sales minus break even point sales okay if you subtract you will get margin of safety okay so it represent the questions and uh, buffer the available uh, of sales above the break even point uh, uh, providing measures how much sales can be declined before the company incur losses easily we can identify okay and the formula I have clearly specified here actual sales minus break even sales how you get to know the break even sales we have applied a formula like a fixed cost divided by contribution per unit into selling price okay so the same thing you are getting otherwise what we are trying to get a actual break even sales the simple break even unit break even in unit into selling price this is also giving a same answer okay so moving forward for next one angle of incidence so the angle of incidence is the angle frame between the total sales revenue total sales revenue and total cost line is on a break even chart in the break even chart we can identify the angle of incidence okay so it indicate the rate at which profit increase 
okay, where exactly the locations we need to identify uh, increase or decrease with the change in the sales volume. The steeper angle of steeper angle of incident indicate the higher profitability. In the coming slide, uh, using a graph, uh, easily you can understand where exactly the angle of incident is located. And next one, break even chart. So we are talking related to terms used in the marginal cost. It's very important to solve the problem. Okay, not only for the solving a problem, even the theory questions also you can uh, expect 100%, 15 marks or 10 marks question you can expect from these chapters. Okay, the break-even chart uh, also known as a break-even analysis or break-even point, okay, is a financial tool used by the business to determine the point at which uh, the total revenue equal to total cost. There is no profit, there is no loss in that case, okay. So, resulting in the neither profit or loss, okay, it provide visual representation uh, the relationship between sales volume, cost and profit. So easily we can uh, get to know what is my sales position and uh, the cost, uh, even the profit also using a graph easily we can identify the complete uh, visualization. The break even chart is based on the concept of contribution margin. Concept, you know the contribution calculation sales minus variable cost, okay. So, which is the difference between selling price per unit and the variable cost will give you the margin contribution per unit, okay. The contribution margin represent the amount that the contribute to cover fixed cost of the business, okay. So, easily we can get to know the using the formula we can get to know the total cost uh, total variable variable cost uh, fixed cost uh, the sales volume number of units produce okay so everything we will get information so uh, here the break even chart is very simple so any production okay either you're starting 100 production or 200 production the fixed cost cannot be changed which is always constant Okay, now variable cost, uh, I, uh, now we uh, from y axis we call it as revenue or cost bear and the x axis number of unit produce or quantity we can consider here. So we need to write the scale is very important. So fixed cost line is always fixed either you are producing 100 units or 200 units, 1000 units. So, which is a constant, okay. So, next one, from the fixed cost, uh, the point, uh, so uh, first uh, you need to calculate the break-even units and sales. So, once you calculated break-even units, number of units, okay, x-axis unit and break-even sales, uh, y-axis. So, you have to, for example, the sales, break-even sales we got, for example, uh, 10 lakhs we got, okay. And uh, even the break-even point units we got around 10,000 we got, okay, uh, 10,000 units produced. So, for example, from the x-axis, so we need to mark for 10,000 units. So, dotted line we need to extend, okay. So, till the 10 lakhs where we are getting from the y-axis. So, here dotted line. So, where exactly which is intersecting, so we need to extend the line, okay. So, from the fixed cost, when you try to touch for the, this point, okay, so directly which is going for the total sales value, okay. For again, here we can identify the total cost from year to, we need to extend, right. So, here the total revenue, which is always starting from the x-axis and y-axis uh, origin place, so we need to extend uh, till this point is reaching, we need to extend. So we call it as a total revenue from total cost, how you are getting from the fixed cost origin place to okay intersected point. Uh, so we need to extend the line. So we call it as a total cost. So in this particular area, we call it as a profit okay or you can say angle of incident. So in this particular area, we call it as a loss okay. I hope you clear. Keep on watch for next section. Thank you.